We have already seen how to connect fire panels in a network. It is now time to see what settings do we need so the panels can communicate with each other. We will first take a look at the network settings menu. To access the menu, we need to be in access level 3. Here are some of the options that are mandatory when we want to connect this panel into a network. One of the most important things to do is to select either we use LAN or RS485 network. We also need to enable the network and to select a panel number from 1 to 64, as every panel in the network has to be with a unique number. We also have the option to freely choose a name for the panel and at the end we need to confirm the changes by pressing apply button. In case we are going to use a LAN network, we need to press more. This menu contains all the necessary settings for completing the LAN network, such as IP address, subnet mask and so on. We need to set those parameters according to the specifics of the local network. As we can see, there is another option called redundancy. This option is applicable in cases we are using RS485 network model instead of LAN. If we enable that option, the panel will warn us for connection breaks between the panels in the network. That menu also gives us the option to determine the commands and the information that the panel can share between each other. For each panel, we can select if it will be able to send or receive commands and messages. If we press more, we can also enable the options for repeating the status of the built-in physical outputs. 